Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video. It's a thrift haul slash a thrift flip video. Y'all really seem to love these. If you do, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. I went to the giving tree and everything was 30% off. I got some good stuff. I'm going to show you what I got, what I paid for it, and what I'm going to do with them. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and click that little notification bell to all so YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. Then most importantly, share this video with a friend who you think may love it as well. That's going to help my channel grow and help me bring y'all more amazing content. All right, let's get this haul started. As you can see, my corner is still nice and clean. All right. First item up is a wooden pedestal, $1.95. Again, don't forget, everything was 30% off because I'm a vendor at the Owl's Nest. I can get a coupon for 30% off my entire purchase any day I want, which is amazing. I think it was made to be candlestick. We're going to put something cool on top of it and make it into a tray. I grabbed an old spool top, a screw, and a metal piece from an old ladder to create this tray. First step is DIY Dark and Decrepit. This is an amazing product and it is self-sealing. So not only is it going to stain this wood, but I will not have to put an additional sealer on top. For the base, I used DIY in the color Aviary and I have a Zebra fan brush. I can link that down in my Amazon links below. Once everything was dry, I gave it a little distressing with a 220 grit sanding block. And sealed it up with DIY clear wax. Decrepit dust is going to give this piece a little age. It's a powder form and you apply it over the fresh wax. It just gives it a nice aged patina. In very little paint on my number 24 JRV stencil brush, I'm going to use a tiny bit of the American Agriculture stencil to give the top of this riser a little special touch. A little bit of air dry clay inside this big opening just to give it some extra support when I screw the top down into the base. Also using Gorilla Wood Glue for some extra support. I love how industrial this riser came out. Leave me a comment below. Do you like this look? Next up are these amazing candlesticks. They're stamped Mexico on the bottom. They've got a gorgeous rusty patina and there is some wax on them. So I'm going to get that cleaned off, but I'm not going to do anything else to them. They are gorgeous and they will be available on my website. I am going to start a new collection called Current Thrift Haul. And that way, every time I do a new video, I can keep up one collection instead of changing the name of the collection every time. To clean these up, I melted the wax with a heat gun and gently removed it. Then I gently cleaned them with some stainless steel wool and warm water. These gorgeous punched tin candlesticks will be available on my site for $24.95 for the pair. In the back of the store is a section that has a bunch of tools and whatnots. Vintage hardware is something I find a lot back there. 
So I fell in love with this amazing wooden pole and then it had these three wooden knobs in it as well. So I will for sure use these on a fun makeover. I will leave them natural wood and probably put them up against the white painted piece with a natural wooden top. It'll be gorgeous. These were in a bag listed for $1.95. Also in that section, there was some metal. So this vintage hardware was in there. I see a fun DIY coming with this and I won't paint it. I love patinaed metal. This bag was $4.95, so I paid up for this a little bit. Again, it was 30% off, but look at that beautiful hardware. I don't know what the weird plastic piece is on it, but it will very easily come off and then just gorgeous, gorgeous hardware. I found a set of six candlesticks. These are a set, um, $5.75 is what I paid for them after the discount for the entire set of six. I will sell them at, as a set and I've probably priced them around, goodness, I don't know. I'll look it up and I'll insert it right here using lemon oil to get off the sticky residue and shine these brass candlesticks up. They are not very tarnished so I wanted to really make them shine and they sure do. Look how pretty they are. I can separate them out into sets of two and they still look gorgeous or you can line them all up in a row to really make a statement. Again these are available on my site $20.95 for the set of six. Next up is this adorable little brass pitcher. Look at its sweet little flat handle. With some very primitive attachments. It was $2. It's got some a great patina and I will list this on my site for $8.95. Next up is a keeper for myself. This is a beautiful lantern. If you know anything about these, let me know below. Up at the top it says Dites, Dietz, New York, USA, number two, D-Light. So it's got some great advertising on the top. I haven't looked any of this stuff up yet. I'm getting this stuff right out of the box for you guys. But I am going to keep this. I paid up for it a little bit. Marked $18.95. I got it it was about $13.25 after my discount. So not too bad. I've been looking for a good one. A lot of times around here, people have painted them. And I'm not against an original paint job, but like I'm talking spray paint. So I was happy to find this and add it into my collection. Found another rolling pin, $2.95 on this one. It's got good metal fittings on it and solid wood. So I will be able to paint the handles up. And I sell these for $8.95 to $10.95, depending on how cool they are. I'll go ahead and put this one up on my site. I'm using DIY Farm Fresh to paint up these handles. This is a gorgeous vintage green color, a little more blue than Apothecary, but it is one of my favorites and I don't use it often enough. I've got my Klingon F30. I love these brushes so much. The paint literally falls right off of them after you let them soak in water overnight. Seal the handles with Sweet Pickens white oil wax. Apply it on with a brush. Let it sit for about five to 10 minutes and wipe off any excess. Sweet Pickens Food Safe Hemp Oil for the body of this rolling pin. It also beautifully richens up that wood. There's a booth on the way to the restroom that I have to walk by and he has a dollar bucket and those things always get me. So I loved these little vintage looking seed hangers. 
Um, in fact, they kind of inspired a DIY. If I can find some vintage seed packets, I will be doing that. I found two watermelons and a cauliflower. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my booth with some cute garden displays I have going on. I'll put them in for about $2.95 each. I've been hoarding a cute little pile of red and we are upon the first week of July. So this week I'm going to get some red stuff into my booth. So be looking for that over on a Facebook tour. I don't see a price tag on this anymore. I think it fell off and it's what I stuck inside that other box. So if that's true, it was $1.95 and it's metal, super cute. I'll sell it as is for $6.95 in my booth. $2 gravy boat slash creamer slash gravy boat. I don't know what this is. It's Better Homes and Gardens, so it's modern, um, but I love that green color. And this will go into a current vignette in my booth for $6.95. I need to do a little more research on these. Sorry, I'm trying not to get a glare. They were a dollar each, and I got them to stage up with that black and purple dresser, but it already sold, so I'll do something a little different. These are marked Made in Italy, and they've got a really nice um, felt or velvety um, backer on them still. So I'll just clean these up. I won't do anything else to them. If you have any information on them, though, list it below. They're totally granny chic, cottage core. Y'all know I love my critters. Look at this duck. The raffia will have to go. Oh my goodness, honestly so much cuter, but yeah, he hangs off the shelf. $1.50, so about $1.35 after my discount. I'm sorry, but he's gonna stay with me. <laughs> This was marked $2.95. It has a nice glass insert, so I'm thinking it was for a candle. I'm going to market it as a boho plant holder. It was $2.95. I am going to have this in my booth for $10.95. This basket is pretty great. I love the color. It's in great shape. 50 cents. Are you comfy? I decided to keep this basket. It was perfect for holding my books that I like to read in the morning and my journal. And I sit here and look out this window and it's great. <laughs> Stars do well around here. This one is metal. I'm imagining it was meant to be for a candle holder. I might paint this up white and distress it. I'm using DIY White Swan and look at this coverage y'all. One coat, sometimes one and a half coats, does it. A lot of people have been talking about how Waverly chalk paint is leaving Walmart and they're not happy about it. If y'all have not tried DIY paint out, I highly encourage you to. The paint is so pigmented and thick that it really does last a long time and you definitely get your money's worth. Then it's water soluble until it's sealed. So all I have to do is take a wet rag and I can wet distress this star in the areas where I like. Milk glass coffee mug I will keep in my collection and it was 50 cents. You can tell it's milk glass when it's a little more translucent. And this one definitely is. Each of these flags were 50 cents and I will sell them. Oh, that one's got a fun stamp on the wood. I will sell them in my booth for $1.95 in um, my 4th of July vignette. Piece of mountainside stoneware made in Japan. Now, who has tips for getting some of the scratchings off of here without damaging the piece? I haven't tried to wash it at all yet, obviously, but it's gorgeous and I love the blue top. So I don't want to mess it up. 1982. I paid $2.50 for it and I will list this on my site. After doing a little research, I'll pop a price in right here. Here's some quick research. I mixed up a paste of baking soda and water. I rubbed it gently across the piece of stoneware with a soft cloth. 
let it sit for about five minutes. Then I got that cloth damp and removed the paste. It really did come out beautiful, cleaned it up nicely without damaging the surface. I'm listing this for $12.95 on my site. These will fit in perfect with my cottage colors I've got going on with the green and the brown. They've got some amazing seating in them and I paid 25 cents each. I will sell them for uh, probably two to three ninety five each in my booth. The teal mason jars, they were 75 cents each, of course 30% off of that. Got a number seven and a number nine. And I've got a bunch of extra lids, so I'll go ahead and put lids on these and I'm going to sell them on my side. It will be six ninety five each. This is the cabinet where I keep all of my extra glass I'm not using for the season and I knew I had a couple of extra lids in here. They will work out just perfectly. And as you see I have plenty of teal jars of my own which is why I'm going to sell these two. But I must say teal jars are my favorite. What color is your favorite? Leave me a comment below. Cute little blue crock. It had a sticker on it. It went to Wisconsin, so I'm sure it was cheese crock. It was at 50 cents, and I am loving this powdery blue color. I'm going to try to incorporate some of this into my 4th of July this year, um, but I'll go ahead and list this one on my site. It's super adorable. It will be $4.95 on my site. I am in love with the color of this book, The Jungle Woman by Jaeger. Topeka Public Library, Topeka, Kansas. There's a stamp in here from 58. Copyright 1935. I got it because I love that color and it's going to look great in a vignette here in my house. I paid 50 cents for this cute little wicker fan. It has some repair work I didn't notice with tape. I can take that off and I'll glue it up correctly. I tie a single stem to it and they sell really well in my booth. So I will do that and have it in my booth for $8.95. I found another piece to add to my collection. I have got quite a bit of this in my bathroom, $1.50 for the fish. I'll show you where he is going to go. I love this eyeball. Ish got a home right here in my bathroom. He made friends with my other pieces, including the seahorse that I love, and also the infamous lobster. <laughs> Did any of y'all watch the Golden Girls? If so, you may have heard about the controversy behind the lobster ban. 75 cents on this basket. I love the two-tone. It's in great shape and it would be so easy to hang from a wall. So I found it for 75 cents. I will have it listed on my site at $4.95. Back by the hardware were also some tools. I love these vintage tools. I like to hang them on the wall and hang a little bit of floral from them. I got this because I thought it would be fun to paint with. Not even gonna lie. And it was $2.95. That's going to cover some furniture. Massive $2.95. These look really fun. Drill a little hole through the handle here. Hang some cool green floral from them and hang them on the wall. one more of these vintage trays for a dollar it's missing a couple of its little wooden pieces here um but i've seen a ton of people haul these lately and i had a fun idea so we're gonna try it out i've got a stack of i don't know like three or four of them now so we'll see what happens One tray got white swan, the other tray got weathered wood. 
I took a pair of clippers and cut off half of the little trimming that goes along the tray. And I apologize, I filmed <laughs> the wrong shot here, but you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm just gently pulling off the part that I clipped off. And it's leaving me with about half of that trimming left on the tray. Wire cutters to cut chicken wire down to size. I flipped the tray over and used a staple gun to carefully staple this wire to the back of the tray. Using scrap fabric, I traced around the tray and cut this out so I could cover the back, making sure it would protect my customer's walls. I hot glued that on, which is also why I didn't worry about painting the back of these trays. It cleaned up the look and it also helps protect the wall. I have a glue gun and I also use the Gorilla hot glue sticks. I'll link those in my Amazon links below. And don't forget all the other paint and products you can find on my website upcycledbybree.com. I have some Dollar Tree moss. I'm placing that down inside the chicken wire and then using Walmart lavender picks. I'm placing them in at varying heights and that will complete this tray. I'm sprinkling some DIY decrepit dust in the color white over this tray and blending it in with a chip brush and you see it provides a beautiful finish a lot like white wax. It just comes in a powder form. You can apply it right over your paint or over your wax. Is the reveal. This is by far my favorite project today. I love how they came out. What about you? Is this a hit or miss? Leave me a comment below and let me know, do you like the lavender or the olive version better? Also, if y'all want to recreate these, leave a picture in my Facebook creative group. I love to see all of your projects. If you haven't joined yet, check the description box. I will leave it near the top. Thumbs up if you loved today's video. Also subscribe and click that notification bell if you haven't yet. Most importantly, please share this video with a friend. I will catch y'all back here on Sunday for another great video. Until then, I will see y'all later. Bye friends. i better, hold on. It's slippery. It's slippery little sucker. Plant. And that's why I'm gonna market it. How I'm going to and that's why I'm going to market it as oh I'm going to keep this one in my collection. How weird. Oh.